Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are well. Today, we are going to start with a very exciting lesson plan for the month of August. It is called Lego and Let God. So every Sunday, a video will be sent out to you with the lesson for the week, with a challenge at the end of the lesson that you and your family could do together. What's more exciting is that there is also going to be a weekly memory verse. And you have the entire week to practice this memory verse. And if you can know this memory verse off by heart by the end of the week, your parents can send it to me via WhatsApp and you get to collect a Lego figurine. There are five Sundays in August, which means that if you practice these memory verses and get all five to me, you could collect five Lego figurines. It is very exciting, this theme, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Today's story comes from the book of John, and it is a story about a man called Nathaniel. Jesus traveled to many places to help people and tell them about God. But Jesus needed some travelers that could help him as he talked about God to the people. Jesus was visiting a town called Bethany. He decided to go to another town called Bethsaida, near a lake called Galilee. Before Jesus left Bethany, he met a man named Philip. Philip was the kind of helper Jesus wanted. So Jesus said to Philip, follow me. Philip was so excited about being Jesus' helper, he went to find his friend Nathaniel. Philip found his friend Nathaniel sitting under a fig tree. It was a nice shady place where Nathaniel could study. He loved studying the scriptures, God's word. Philip said, Nathaniel, I just met the person Moses talked about long ago. He's the one all the scriptures tell about. God's son, it's Jesus from Nazareth. Nathaniel was not sure what Philip said was true. Could he really have met such an important person? If Philip had, how could this person be from the city of Nazareth? Nazareth was not an important place at all. But because Philip was so excited, Nathaniel agreed to meet Jesus. Jesus saw the men coming, and even though Jesus had never met Nathaniel before, Jesus knew all about him. Jesus said to him, Nathaniel, you are a man from Israel who always tells the truth. This surprised Nathaniel. He had never met Jesus before. How do you know me? He asked. And Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before talking to Philip. Now, Nathaniel knew what Philip said was true. Jesus was very special. You are the son of God, said Nathaniel. And he became one of Jesus' helpers too. Jesus knew all about Nathaniel. And you know what's special about this story is that it shows us that Jesus knows all about us too. He knows about our gifts and our talents. He knows what we're good at and maybe some of the things we need to practice on how to do better. This is a beautiful story because just like Jesus knows Nathaniel, he knows you too. And you are worthy because we are all made in the image of God. My challenge for you this week, I am going to show you what I have made. Because we are doing the Lego and let God feel Every activity at the end of these video lessons will have a Lego theme. So I made a Lego person. And this is a Lego person of me. And in the middle, you can see that I wrote the word teach. Because I believe that Jesus knows all about me, and he gave me the gift to teach children. So your activity for today your parents can download this Lego man. It will be in the weekly and on the WhatsApp groups. And you can create your own Lego figurine and write in the middle what you believe the gift is that Jesus has given to you. I would really love to see what these figurines look like. So please send them to me via WhatsApp and I can read what your gift is. I want you to remember the story of Nathaniel and how Jesus knew all about him. 
and never forget how important you are and that Jesus knows all about you too. All right, let's pray. Father God, thank you that we have been created in your image. Thank you for the gifts and the talents that you have given us. And thank you for the knowledge that we are worthy. This week, I pray that we will rest in that and know how much you love us. And may we show that love to those around us. We pray this in your precious name. Amen. I can't wait to see all your Lego figurines. And next week, there will be a different challenge that you can do with your family. Okay.